Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Anton, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing Quirk, which is a puzzle game developed by Atlas and published by Acclaim for the Nintendo Game Boy in 1990. So of course, before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more reviews and other Nintendo related content. And let's get started. Quirk is a very unique type of puzzler. The gameplay consists of the main character Quirk maneuvering through puzzles that consist of turnstiles and movable blocks that are able to be pushed into holes that the player can walk on. Some puzzles also are to be solved using multiple characters that you swap to. Some levels use two, while harder ones use three or four. All the levels are very different from each other and are solved with critical thinking in mind. You can mess up the puzzles too, but you can restart the level if you wish. There are two single player game modes and a third mode to verse a friend. Each mode has a three difficulty settings being easy, average, and hard. You can choose to view the game in bird's eye view or diagonal view in case you want to see a level in a certain way. In going up mode, Quirk is trying to make his way to the top to find his girlfriend. You just need to get to the staircase to move on to the next level, and that's pretty much it. However, if you are playing on average or hard levels, then well, that's easier said than done. Some of the levels are quite complex and very difficult. But I would say that the easy levels are a great way to learn how the game works, but they are also quite difficult too, because if you mess up them then you have to restart them. All the levels are unlocked in the game, so you can choose which ones you would like to tackle first. I would have preferred unlocking levels as you complete them because it would have gave you more incentive to playing them, but there isn't a battery in the cartridge so that would probably explain a lot. In heading down mode, you try to get to the end of the course by clearing rooms consecutively. The levels are easier, but you want to try and clear the course as fast as possible. This mode sort of reminds me of a dungeon style game, but it definitely is very fun and shows how Quirk's mechanics work in different ideas and concepts. The two player mode is the heading out mode where players need to try and clear all the rooms in a race. Whoever gets to the end wins. The game has nice soundtracks, but if you're playing the game for a long time, they can get very repetitive. But the graphics in this game are very nice too for the Game Boy, which helps as the Game Boy doesn't have a great screen. Overall, Quirk is a game that still rocks for the Game Boy in the present. There are great levels, modes, and fun to be had with this hidden gem, which is why Quirk gets an 8 out of 10 for its great level design and cool modes. And if you ever see it at a garage sale, swap meet, etc, don't forget to pick this one up because it's definitely a fantastic game and is great for your Game Boy collection. Anyways guys, that wraps up the video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below on what you think of Quirk, maybe you played it and you absolutely love it, so let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more reviews and more Nintendo related content in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.